Today I'm reviewing Myofusion's Probiotic. It is Gaspari's second version of Myofusion which will be replacing the old. It contains shelf-stable probiotics but they sneakily put in rice protein concentrate to cut the costs and battle rising whey costs. I had some good ex expectations considering how great original Myofusion was. This Myofusion is a blend of protein meant to be used throughout the day and separate itself because of the probiotics. Each scoop of Myofusion has 150 calories, 2 grams of fat, 9 grams of carbs, 1 gram of fiber, and 24 grams of protein. It is a blend of 6 proteins, whey concentrate, rice protein, whey isolate, egg, milk isolate, and partially hydrolyzed whey. All the proteins are good in the formula except having the rice protein as your second source of protein. It is a cheaper source of protein and doesn't have an amino acid profile like protein from milk or egg. The probiotics in the protein can also be problematic. There is a period for many people where the probiotics must adapt to the system so they will have digestive problems for the first few weeks of using this product. A certain strain of probiotic in myofusion has been shown to help the immune system though. The mixability isn't terrible but it is a subpar for sure. There are small chunks when mixed with the milk and usually some bigger chunks are left as well. If you try to shake it more, it foams up terribly. In water, it mixes fine with only a tiny layer of foam. The main reason for such bad mixability is the rice protein. The original Myofusion mixed so nice and thick without too much foam, but they tried to repl replicate this with different gums and compounds in the powder, but it turned out terrible. In water, it is slightly thicker, but in milk, it just simply foams. The probiotic version of Myofusion tastes flat out terrible. Initially, I disliked the tub, and by the end of the tub, I hated the taste. I would have to choke down this protein. It is by far the worst protein I have ever tasted. In water, there is a barely taste, luckily, but there is cookie chunks which become soggy and stick on your teeth and gums. The flavor from the powder is just a slight sweetness with a bad texture. In milk, it tastes even worse, as the flavoring of the powder is amplified. When it mixes, the volume doubles, so you're essentially drinking a horrendous tasting foam. Even when it sits, the foam doesn't go down. There is no extra creamy taste and the cookie pieces get suspended in the foam and get soggy. The taste is nothing like the original Myofusion. The original was one of my favorite proteins. You can buy 5 pounds for around $48 and 2 pounds for around $25. This is just average for a budget protein that contains all whey protein. It only has around 58 servings, which is not that high, and only 23 in a 2 pounder. The flavoring is terrible, so if you value flavor, this is certainly not a good option. If you want a protein with only whey protein, there's a lot cheaper options, so there'd be no point trying to save by purchasing this. There's a trade-off in formula and cost. The bottom line is probiotic is way worse than its predecessor. I can't really recommend this product to anyone, no matter your goals. It definitely tastes terrible, and for the amount of calories, it should taste way better. There is no really advantages this product has over many other brands. It has a bad cost per serving, taste, and can upset stomachs and uses inferior ingredients. If you really want the probiotics, you can get them from many other sources. If you do really end up wanting to try some Myofusion probiotic, they do have some one pound containers for sale for a whopping $20, which is a complete ripoff. My advice would be to not buy the stuff at all, as it is truly a terrible protein.